to talk about all of yes. you. Okay. Uh, the, the the gig. This uh, one, yeah, it's yeah. called the Lovers Rock Lounge. Yes. And it's a it's a um, a night that I used to do in the West End uh, a couple of, a few years ago. So I've now decided to take it local. So we're doing one in Southgate, probably do one in, in South London as well, but one in North London and Southgate. And this is on the 25th of June in Southgate at the Maze Inn. And it's a great night. It's just for those who love Lovers Rock yeah. and Rare Groove and Soul Classics and good classic reggae music. Just to come out and have a good time in a good environment. Uh, I'll have um, some live guests on that night. Um, mm -hmm. Claudia Fontaine, who sings Natural High. She hasn't really performed in many years, so that's oh, okay. a coup. And also Heather Hayward uh, from The Cool Notes and a young and up-and-coming uh, rising star called Cassandra London, because I really think it's important to yeah. develop. She's emerging. actually very good, because I've met her Have before. You? Yeah, yeah. She's a great yeah, young, really, up-and-coming, really emerging yeah. talent. So I just feel yeah. that, coming back to what you're saying about, has it stopped? Well, no, actually, Funny enough, there seems to be like a, a new um, groundswell, groundswell zeitgeist, yeah. whatever it is, of, yeah. of, of youngsters that really want to, to sing reggae and lovers rock in particular. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really great. So I'm encouraging that. So Absolutely, that's, yeah. I'm doing that on and Thursday, the 25th of June. Thursday, the 25th of June. You yes. can uh, uh, email uh, for details at info um, at uh, Carol Thompson, uh, all one word. That's uh, two R's, two L's, Carol's and please. no E. <laughs> uh, CarolThompson.co.uk. So that's yes. info at CarolThompson.co.uk. Uh, or you can check uh, out um, uh, Carol's website. All the W's, uh, Carol Thompson, uh, spelled the same way, uh, .co.uk. Is there a few more things that you wanted yeah, to tell us about? Yeah, there are. I'm doing, there's, a, there's a play that I devised with Janet Kay and um, Victor Romero Evans mm -hmm. called the Lovers Rock Monologues and we've um, had runs at the Tricycle Theatre and oh. some other theatre and Stratford as well for a while and um, we're now bringing it back to the Tricycle Theatre and um, in North London and also taking it to the Ashcroft Theatre in Croydon okay. and this happens in July so there's um, at the Tricycle Theatre at the 20th to the 25th of July and at the Ashcroft Theatre in Croydon it's the 18th of July Okay, um, yeah, so, absolutely. you know, these, these are, you must come along, it's a lot definitely. of fun. Definitely. Yeah, we'll definitely, definitely be there. Right. Unfortunately, we don't have time to, uh, to uh, yeah. delve into exactly what the Lovers Rock monologues oh, okay. uh, is, <laughs> is, is all about and, uh, and so on. I've got a few questions myself on, <laughs> on the title of that one. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, we're going to go to a break now. We'll be coming back uh, talking about the FIFA football scandal, uh, the Women's Football World Cup going on at the moment, and um, a little bit about Mo Farah and much, much more as well. So uh, mm -hmm. join us. Uh, on the other side of the break. on Ben Television Sky 182. Every Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., we give you all the information relating to entertainment and up-to-date news from the Caribbean, presented by Pam Joseph. Ben Television, Bridging the Gap.
Out of the confusion that we have in Lagos is also the political situation. And on Politics with KO, what we try and do is to go beyond the confusion and get something really meaningful. And welcome back to the Big Ben Show with me, Lester Holloway and uh, uh, Alex Watson. Uh, always great to have uh, Carol Thompson yeah. uh, with us and uh, uh, we uh, will be giving out uh, details uh, at the end of the show uh, of uh, where you can get in touch for the uh, gig, the Lovers Rock gig that's uh, coming up. Uh, now we're going to be talking about um, sports and I'm very uh, delighted to be joined by the, the sports journalist, uh, Sonia Thomas. And uh, of right hand media, and of course, uh, you're a former England uh, rugby international uh, as am. well. But and it's great that you say that, but I always feel like I have to do qualifiers because there's a guy out there who was just sort of saying, Let me take a picture with you. One cap, although I, I warmed the bench for a long time, yes. Um, but that was back in the days when England played sort of maybe two or three internationals a year, yes. What's wonderful now is that we've got players who are sort of 80 caps, 90 caps, 100 caps, yeah. well, it's so uh, phenomenal. So it's, I, it's, I, it's one more cap than I've got, anyway. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but it, it was a great time, and I loved it, and I still miss it every yeah. time. I'm watching, I still kind of twitch thinking I could do that, but I can't. Yeah, yeah. It's too old. Yeah, do you still play rugby then at all? No, a little touch now and then a little touch rugby. Yeah, but so what sports do you kind of get into now then? Now I'm just trying to sort of just keep active in the gym and I love squash. Right. I absolutely love okay. squash. I'll chase that little ball anywhere it wants to go. Right. Right. Luckily it's limited by the walls of the court. So I'm good, but yeah. I, I enjoy keeping fit. T talking about uh, sort of chasing a ball all over the place, of course, the, the Women's World Cup uh, going on um, at the moment. Uh, have you been following that? I caught one match. I ought to be following it. England, but, um, England versus France. Yeah, what were your thoughts on that? Uh, my thoughts were that, um, I mean, I've watched it, you know, women's uh, football before, and uh, I find it, you know, it's, it's very, very skillful, actually. And I mean, there's, there's less aggression in there but, uh, than the men's game, but a bit, it's very, very good to watch. Um, I thought that France were, were excellent. They were. Uh, especially they at were. the back, I thought that they were very, very very good and uh, one of their strikers as well was uh, you know looked look pretty uh, on form. They did, they England did. England looked a little bit um, lacklustre, couldn't really get forward. Uh, you had, uh, what's, it, what's her name, uh, Aloku, uh, Enya Aloku, who was mm. just sort of chasing shadows up front. She looked very good.